painful. Larry Flint's here. What are you going to be talking about, Larry? The mm. Super Bowl halftime show. Oh, I didn't like it. Oh, well, let's hear that now. Yeah, let's well, Good morning, Larry. Good morning. Well, you all are a lot luckier than I am. You got to get up off your couches when you realize the Super Bowl <laughs> halftime show is going to suck. Oh. <laughs> they left me in my chair like Stephen Hawking in the sun and didn't come back for me until Jimmy Fallon was over. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> Katie said that sharing her music with millions of people would be a spiritual experience. Well, I'm a religious man, and I was praying that she'd fall <laughs> off that robot lion puppet or that rhino would crush her until I realized the rhino was actually Missy Elliott. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz looked like he couldn't wait to get off stage so he could call his agent and fire him for getting him into that mess. I haven't seen a more disgusted look on a face since that little girl on Take Your Daughter to Work Day at the proctologist's <laughs> office. <laughs> Katie said she's heard stories of her songs helping people. Yeah, especially those who are constipated. <laughs> what was the deal with the singing sharks and dancing palm trees? It was like I took acid and watched an episode of Veggie Tales. <laughs> I kept trying to unlock the chair so I could roll myself into traffic. <laughs> First, I thought it was going to be great that she'd wear the bra that shoots whipped cream and that when she sang I kissed a girl, she'd shoot it all over some hot model while she actually kissed her. Well, she can kiss my ass. That is, if somebody can lift me out of the chair and pull my pants down for me. Wow. Thanks, Larry, for that. Very nice review. Almost.